You ready, Molly? Should we go? Okay then. Off we go on our adventure to Scotland. Going on your Molly days. <laughs> Let's go. Molly days. Yeah. Only four and a half hours late. Let's go. services in one mile we've been watching the program on the telly about tbay services it's really good we always like to stop here it's the poshest services ever it's got farm shop hey we are stopping yeah we are stopping yeah as we're on the road for well, we set off five hours late uh, we've run the road for two Honestly, and a half hours so anyway we're a bit behind schedule and uh, we might make it before the campsite shuts. We're not quite sure, oh but we, my God, we need so to. Dramatic. So, anyway, we're going to stop at Tea Bay. It's very nice. If you haven't stopped, try it. You've got all the cars in the camp van and motorhome spaces. Mm -hmm. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, I can see that. So, tea bay services are completely full. Uh, everyone else seems to have watched the program as well, so we can't actually get in a bay. There's too many cars parked in the motorhome bays and caravan bays and coaches bays, so we're parked here, which I think is permitted, but anyway. So, I'm just having a wander around with Molly. Caroline's going to get us some food uh, before we head off on our rest of our journey. Uh, so, back at tea bay and a very very busy services can't wait to get away from everybody more well that was crazy we're just leaving uh, tea bay services we had a very nice uh, pork pie sausage roll what do you have uh, cheese and quiche quiche so yeah we've just left uh it was that busy we ended up using the facilities on the motorhome which is uh <laughs> which is very handy another benefit of having a motorhome so yeah we stopped that money out and we're back on the uh, on the m6 now about hopefully not too far from the border to scotland so uh, yeah that was an interesting stop. Great services, but very, very, very busy. Very, very busy. Yeah, welcome to Scotland. We're back. <laughs> So we've arrived finally and uh, we're having tea. We just literally legged it out and got some fish and chips, haven't we Molly? Thank you. What have you got? What, sorry? Mac and cheese bite. Mac and cheese bite. We're having the disco. Next door is the party. Maybe dancing next door. <laughs> so yeah, we just, we took us seven and a half hours to get here. So this is our first night. We're in four far and we're having fish and chips or macaroni and chips. So that's it. Well, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Bye. Oh, hang on. Fish, double fish, iron brew chips. So we just arrived, uh, fourth I had our fish and chips and we're just going for a quick wander. 
Do you want to walk? The We're not park. round the lock because the lock walk is two and a half miles. So we just yeah. popped round to have a look and see where we are at, uh, where, what's going on. So we'll have a proper look to explore tomorrow. But yeah, the site's in the middle of Four Far on the lock and it's very nice and a little bit noisy. There's a party going on behind us, but it doesn't bother us. Not so the far campsite. we've approved of the tune, so we're not complaining too much. Yeah, I can't film them, but uh, it's a party in a house behind the campsite. It's quite loud, but I guess it's uh, be finishing soon. Yeah, it's very nice. Quiet. Lovely. Lovely background look. Yeah, that's a lock. See that tomorrow properly. Good morning. Good morning. We are in Forfar. Forfar? Forfar. Four. Forfar, four yes. Forfar. 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 Four and we've, uh, first night we've arrived and we've just had a, a lazy morning really, to be honest. We were going to possibly go to Glam's Castle, but then we realised we booked this couple of nights here just to chill out and do nothing. Uh, as a first part of our trip. So we're going to go for a walk, aren't we? We are, over around the lock. There's a lock. It's quite chilly this morning, but we must address one issue. <laughs> this coat. Tell yes. them, tell them I what you did. I appear to have forgotten to pack my outdoor waterproof coats. Any of them, I spent ages waterproofing them before we set off and make sure they were dry, and I've forgotten them all. So this is an emergency coat we bought in Sidmouth last year, um, when we were the camper van and it cost me 12 pounds so it is worn at once for the cliff top walk home that we did because it was so cold and blustery and it's literally just been one that's been left in the van but what a great tip always have emergency Spare coats. coats yeah so i think i'll be getting a new coat at some point on this trip while we're out so yeah i'll go and see how we get on yeah there's a tesco down the road i'm gonna treat <laughs> them to a tesco coat we'll go and explore and find out what we can find in Forfa. Uh, there's a monument as well so i did a bit a little bit of walking around today and just taking so taking it easy a couple of days and we're doing most of our sort of planning what we're going to do over the next couple of days as we move on. So, we'll see you later. You just ruined my shot. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> cool outdoor gym. <laughs> Excellent. How long can you keep going for though? Ages. Still filming. <laughs> Ages, but I want to explore more. Cricket. Good pub. I always bring the first drinks out for the children and a dog. Is that nice, Molly? It's nice, isn't it? Very nice. What have you ordered to drink? Raspberry spritz, a gin cocktail. Menu. Nice. From Edinburgh Gin Company? Yes. Good. Thanks, Molly. Okay, that's the uh, first pub stop of the tour. Looks very nice, isn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. And on Sundays, which is today, they have a two for one offer on pizza and burgers. Even more Excellent. exciting. Okay, so our dinner's arrived. It is massive. This is two for one. That's the pint. That's my burger. You can see how big it is. And there's Caroline's pizza. We just had a garlic, garlic bread starter as well. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not sure I could eat all that, to be honest. Well, I'm going to give it a go. I've got the giddy burger, which is basically a plain burger with cheese on, and the sauce. Molly, you might have to help me with this burger. 
Well, my burger was epic. I did manage to eat it all, uh, much, much uh, under much duress. Molly did help me a little bit. Um, Karen's not quite finished her pizza. How good is that? I'm not so good. Ah, man, this is a brilliant place to come. What's it mm. called? Uh, the Giddy Goose. Really good. Probably the best pub burger I've ever had, uh, which is quite rare because I eat quite a lot of burgers in pubs. <laughs> She seems to be enjoying herself anyway, now she's yes. off the lead. Yeah. Come on then. Let's go and find this monument. Come on. Go on then. Well, oh, it's a good view, isn't it? Amazing view. We've just climbed up to the monument. I haven't quite got to it yet. It's just just up there behind <laughs> us. The trees is, there, somewhere there. We're just looking at the view before we uh, before we go up to it. You can we see Fofa. Just had lunch in the. Oh. <laughs> I can't see. The middle. Well, there's the lock there. There's the clock. I know I'm pointing at it, but that's like my eye. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see Asda. Asda, yeah. There's the big clock. Asda. And then to the right of the clock is where we. That's go where lunch, yeah. I mean, and over there, there's a lock. You can see that through the trees there. And the campsite must be just around about there somewhere. Pretty good view. Lovely. Through the trees. Walking nice walk. That pizza. <laughs> yeah, it was quite hard work up that hill. Apart from Molly, she seems to just run up the whole thing. Are you guys going to see the monument? The monument's that big, there's a lightning conductor on it. That's big. I was just talking to a man who walked past and he said you should see it at night when it's illuminated, so it looks fantastic. Wow. The local. It is, it's massive. Absolutely. It's a war memorial. Tremendous. I'll have to look a bit more about it online. Yeah. See what it's built, etc. Yeah, just go to Tesco after tonight and have a look at it. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> So it's our last evening. Last evening? Forfa. In Forfa was the end of the sentence. All right, sorry, yeah. We arrived in Forfa last night and we weren't particularly impressed to start with, to be honest, for a number of reasons. A, it took us seven, and a, se seven hours to get here because there was really bad traffic for two hours, traffic jam. Then we arrived, we were hungry, so we went to get some fish and chips and we went into like this really good, nice fish and chip shop. It was cash only, so we went to go to find a cash machine and we ended up in like a street off Shameless, which was quite interesting. But anyway, we got fish and chips, they were really nice. Came back and at them and, and there was a massive rave going on behind the campsite. You probably will have seen it on the fish and chip video if we've shown that bit already. Yeah, it was uh, like a kid's party with Bounce Castle, but it was a house behind the campsite somewhere, but it was like a rave. It was full blown, um, which was fine. We didn't, you know, it was off by, we went to bed at like 11, half 11. And we was... were just praying it was going to stop. <laughs> We've had fine. a really busy week, you know, and it's the first day of your holiday. It was a bit of a stress to get packed up and set off so yeah, just because we've been so busy. So We got here anyway, and so eventually, yeah, after that, it was, it was all fine. So we woke up this morning completely refreshed, and we've had a really nice day. Fourth was lovely. Um, the lock walk, as you saw earlier, and then we had had lunch in the pub, which was really nice, in the high street, and then a nice walk up to the monument at the top. Um, we thought we'd go have like a lazy couple of days to get ourselves climatised and try and relax, but we just realised we walked nearly nine miles today. <laughs> Don't know how. Do ourselves in gently. Yeah, but importantly, keeping up our traditions, hello Molly, we have managed to find, uh, although we'll talk about that in another video, two beers. Um, one minute, and these video, these video, these beers are from Dundee, which is just on the road, we're in Forfa. Dundee's very local. And this one is all the fun of the citrus, like the circus, you can see that. All the fun of the citrus. And this one is Luminous Lights. This is a New England, this is a pale ale, this is a New England IPA. And they're both brewed in Dundee, very local. So I'm very excited to try these. Um, so I can't wait. So yeah, we're going to leave the video here. We're off tomorrow to our next destination, which is, on the way we're going to go to Stonehaven Harbour. Hopefully we can park the van in the harbour and go and explore around Stonehaven before we head up to our next destination, uh, which is Bancori, just to the left of Aberdeen, uh, near to, what's the Queen's House called? Uh, Balmoral. Balmoral, yeah, not too far from Balmoral. I'm hopefully going to be visiting a castle as well. Not Balmoral. Not, not Balmoral. Balmoral. Not this Sadly. time. The Queen's in, she won't let us in. We don't know her personally, so <laughs> we're going to go. Anyway. I'll give it a try. 
So I really enjoyed Fort Foot, lovely site, really well kept as usual from all of these sites. Um, but this, the sort of the location itself as well is really nice in surrounding areas. It's a great base as a, you know, to explore our uh, Brove Canoosti. Uh, um, um, <laughs> just doing my thoughts, sorry. Uh, and to explore like uh, Glam's Castle, which is just on the road as well, four miles. So really good place, to, sort of a base destination. Mm. So we'll catch you in our next video. And Bye for now. Sorry. In other good news, the hairdryers are working in the showers again. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, the hairdryers are working again. And also in Scotland, supermarkets on a Sunday are open until 8 o'clock at night. Different law completely. Unbelievable. Um, because all the shops are shut today, it's Sunday. But we managed to find a couple of supermarkets open. Anyway. <laughs> Bye for now. See you next time. Bye. Is it Molly's birthday? Happy birthday, Molly. <gasps> Molly is 49 today in dog years. Or seven. Oh. <laughs> She's very good at unwrapping presents, we discovered when she was little. She helped unwrap all sorts of presents. Some of them weren't there. Yeah. She uses the paws and she takes the paper off very carefully. <gasps> oh, great. A squeaky toy. <gasps> oh, I get it. Think then? She yeah, she wants the paper. <laughs> Okay, thanks, oh. Mo. Yay. Oh, okay. She's happy oh, now. Oh, you cut it there again. Sorry, here then. Bring it here. That's it. Bring it this way. Thanks. Happy birthday, Molly. Happy birthday. Get your bag again. And we're leaving quite early this morning. We're going to go down to Stonehaven. Um, trying to go into the harbour. Hopefully, we can get the van park down there and have an explore before we go to our next destination. So, not too far along the coast. Um, just a quick look at the campsite we're in. It's for uh, Lockside Camp Club site, and we are on pitch number 23. There, um, it's a lovely site, really well kept. Um, you can see it's kind of like in a big circle with a bit on the end, and nice big spacious pitches. Some are grass, some are hard standing. Um, they have some service pitches here as well, and they also have some. You wait there. They also have some space for tents in the middle. That's the toilet block just there. Um, you can see on the map again, Colin's just gone to get a shower, you can see that in the middle and that's by the entrance and the motorhome service point is at the entrance. Um, we missed the turning coming in for it and ended up driving around for a little bit but it's actually really easy to find, you just follow the signpost for the country park and it's just at the entrance of the country park. But yeah, it's a lovely site, sun's out today so we're going to head off and explore Stonehaven. But um, yeah, really well kept, presented site, the toilets are immaculate, uh, really nice and fresh and clean. Okay, Mo, let's go and explore Stonehaven. <laughs> Sunshine. We're just, uh, this is the motorhome service point. We're just unloading the water before we set off. And uh, yeah, this is the entrance. You can see it. You probably saw that from us driving in before, but it's a nice sight. It's got a drive away. This is your service point. It's just outside the campsite, actually. And you've got your uh, drain waste, nice good one. And there's parking outside as well. So we're just arriving into Stonehaven. Uh, the plan is we're going to try and get down to Stonehaven Harbour and hopefully park the van down there and have a little wander around. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. We're, uh, we're, we're trying to um, visit some places before we head to our next destination. I always fancy going to Stonehaven. I've always driven past it with work. I've never been, so. We'll see. We can see the sea. Well, not from here, but yeah, the sea's gone we have down. seen the sea in the distance. Yeah. And they have an open air swimming pool in Stonehaven. Heated. Heated. Open air. Yeah. I think it's... Not that we're planning on going. Ah, no, we won't subject you to that. And if we do, we won't be filming it. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> Swip the backer and swallow my way. Take heat, they'll say. No, no. No need to get out. Just stay on a lovely So the van just fitted in space, it's backed up to that bench, there's the mark on the floor and then the front wheels are inside the space, so yeah, you can fit a 6.4 metre van in Stonehaven Harbour parking. There's quite a few um, like BT vans and stuff down there as well. But you say you can park here overnight, but I think that might be on the actual um, 
pier or jetty or something itself, but it's a beautiful, lovely day as well. Gonna explore and find something to eat. Alright, birthday girl, are we in Stonehaven for your birthday? You see the water? You can't go in there yet. We'll find you some water later. <laughs> I thought you might like that. Okay, I'll get you off the lead one second. This is the proper car park. You can see there's a van park there, you can see wall, you can park in here, there's a massive space, you can easily get a 6.4 metre van in there. That's a 6 metre by the looks of it. But you'd easily get that in and not be blocking anything in. These spaces aren't too bad, um, but you can certainly, I think, fit in. There's an open air pool and it has um, heated to 29 degrees and you can swim underneath the stars at night. That's fantastic. Cool place. Excited. It is the birthplace of the deep fried Mars bar, which I'm yet to try. Also, this is the number one fish and chip shop in Scotland 2020, and it says the birthplace of the world famous deep fried Mars bar. Karen, world famous fish bar, formerly the Haven. But it's gonna stay shut till we've we left. Come back Sorry, at no, let's go. Oh. <laughs> we'll have to come back another time. Stonehaven's well worth going back to, isn't it? Really nice. Really yeah, impressed. Really recommend it. So, what do you think of Stonehaven? Really lovely, very nice, um, really pretty place. Come back? Okay. <laughs> I think we want to come back and explore here and spend some time yeah, here. Yeah, Molly nice. loves it. It'd be nice, lots of nice um, restaurants in the, in the town. That's the view outside the, the sliding door. We're parked literally in the harbour, uh, right next to the uh, next to the boats and the seawall. There yeah, is a say. <laughs> there is a space around the other side of the car park you can go to and park it's over there where that car's just going in and that's where I think you can park overnight um, there's no signs everything seems to be free for parking doesn't it as well yeah, which is really good yeah there's a car park in like over in the town yeah um, right in the centre um, we didn't really look at that to be honest no but there's lots of little another big car park there. shops restaurants and bars and food and stuff it looks really nice so yeah, yeah we definitely come back and the open air swimming pool looks fantastic 29 degrees you're going to try that yeah I'll try that for 29 degrees. Right, we'll move on. We're heading to our next destination. Let's go.